Hello everyone. So today what I'll be doing is making a shoot for my concrete mixer that I had purchased. You can actually see it in the background over there. And um, I don't have a wheelbarrow. So what I'll do is set the concrete uh, mixer at different areas of the slab I'm going to draw. Uh, I'm sorry, that I'm going to make the cement for and uh, move the chute around. So it kind of takes out the uh, the middle person, you know, pouring everything into the wheelbarrow and then pouring it into the, into the, uh, the form. What I purchased uh, from uh, Lowe's is this two by four. It's not really a thick piece of plywood. It's pretty, it's fairly thin. And um, initially what I was gonna do is just kind of curve it, you know, cut the plywood and then just make it into a more of a thinner chute. But I'm actually just gonna leave it as it is and then get a two by four and then place it on both sides and then support it uh, from the bottom. The mouth of the concrete mixer measures to be under 16 inches. Uh, there you go. Actually, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> 15 inches. Um, and that's good because I'm while it's pouring out and turning, um, I know it's gonna splatter all over the place. I've seen some videos where that happens and they're trying to get into a hole into the ground. So uh, hopefully this works. So here is my four by four. Uh, it is not pressure treated. And uh, I'm gonna cut it halfway so it'll be, I'll have four feet on both sides. So after I cut the wood, I have these extra backer screws. Um, I have tons of it. So uh, I'm gonna use that to screw through the plywood into the two by four. So here's what it looks like with it all screwed on. So this is gonna be the top part. I wish I had a little bit more time. Maybe put a coating on there so the cement doesn't stick, but definitely have to pre-wet it. That way a lot of water doesn't get absorbed. The next thing is trying to find a distance when you lower that down the uh the bowl down as it's spinning um it'll be right or roughly where it needs to be the next thing i'm doing is i'm cutting support underneath the uh um the chute uh, this is fairly thin perhaps i should have gotten a thicker one <laughs> anyway um so i have this is, this one is pressure treated wood this is scrap wood i got around the house so i measured it to be two feet across There you go. So about two feet across. And I did that for, this is gonna be in the middle. Again, this is just a scrap from the, uh, the form that I made. So that's gonna go there. And then this one's gonna go down at the end. Before I, I'm gonna cut this, but before I do that, I do have to make feet for it because I'm gonna tack it in, um, put the screw in from here, going out to the other side, okay? So what I'll measure, cause this is an inch and a half. So just say two inches, so it'll be, the, the legs will be uh, two feet long. So here again is the support and then this is the legs, all right? I'm gonna be using these screws. These are, um, these are actually multi-purpose uh, and they measure about three and a quarter. So it's long enough to actually, when you go, when you screw through, sorry, it's, when you screw through, it's gonna have a good bite, okay? Now I didn't show it, but I did cut some uh, some braces for it to keep it from wobbling left to right because 80 pounds of concrete will be going over it. So after I drilled those holes, it went right into the legs, as you can tell, right there. And so this is what it's gonna look like. I still have to put legs on there. I don't know if I'm gonna do um, a right angle. Um, I might, depending on how it is. But this is perfect because if you can drag it more, so, I mean, and you still have more room to push against it. I just need to put feet down there and then we are good to go. So here I am, I'm just drilling the, uh, pre-drilling the legs right into the, the chute itself. Um, now the height on that is just enough to get over the forms, which is two by six above ground. And I'll do that on both sides. So here is the final product. It weighs about 15 pounds unwet. Remember, you want to pre-wet it before you start using it because the water will be absorbed. 
and uh, should be able to move it around the uh, form. Okay, so everything is tied down and I wish this was a little bit further out, but that's okay. And it's better than just dropping it closer by and we'll be able to work it out. Doing this, I, I'm able to cut out the middle person, which is the wheelbarrow. And even then, your best bet is to drop it through the edges because then you have to pick it up and go on over and try to avoid the rebar that's already set. So um, I hope this helps. So here is the chute in action. Um, as you can tell, the, fly, the concrete was flying all over the place, but it landed all within the chute, so less waste, right? Um, that's my dad helping me. Um, so once it's down there, um, when the concrete's on the chute, we just spread it down onto the form. Now, the thing was easy to move around. Um, the only thing was hard to um, move the, uh, uh, the mixer as well because you see the rebar sticking out from the sides but it definitely made work a lot easier. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this helps and uh, I'll see you in the next one.